old growth or a tightly tight lot of rings, or you can use a uh, maple or a real hardwood. Anything that you want to now make. You can hammer. make your hammers like I said, any shape, size you want, round, square. You can have the handles. You can hammer have the handles square, round, whatever. You can make anything. It's so like easy to make. Challenge. Again, they're made that they You can use them to bend, yeah, especially metal. They want more metal. Oh, thank I you, honey. I use these. I can't tell you how often I use these else? things. Let me show you two of my favorite. Now, this one here, my great grandfather made. Challenge. My buddy Richie always used to say this was a. Uh, he used to say this was Jesus' hammer. <laughs> Ooh, look a at Jesus this. Look hammer. My great grandfather called these around his finger. I can make a like Noah that. hammer. So his hand I just was need to. I mean, go for wood. Go for wood. Where do I get go for wood? I don't know where I get go for wood. Where do you find go for wood? Anybody? Anybody know where you find go for wood? I don't have any idea. This was made for when they were doing timber framing and things like that, but this stays under my work. What's this? You told me to go for wood. This means my all-time favorite hammer is. Hmm. I said go for wood. And she went and got wood. I think I'll make a hammer. All right, I am up to final assembly. Found myself a nice, you know what I ought to do? Probably ought to cut those, oh, I'll wait. I don't think that's going in anymore. So, that. When you hit something, it'll know it. All right, T Rexers, here we are at the end for the big unveil of the wooden hammer challenge. This was attempt A, and I got all excited and put the handle in without actually checking to make sure it's all the right length. So I couldn't get the handle all the way in. So not a fail because I used it. It's actually incredibly handy. We were building a greenhouse, um, and 
tapping the metal pipes together, that was just the thing. Uh, very, very, I would have never known. I would have gone for a rubber mallet. But then, that is what I'm turning in for my hammer. So, this is my, well, I guess my second lathe project. The first, the failed one would have been first. So, a little bit of size comparison there. Um, it is pretty heavy. When I get to the house, I'll get it on a scale. Um, I left a big knob down here at the end because the last thing you want is this sucker flying out of your hand. Um, the wood, the gopher wood that my daughter brought to me was actually hickory uh, from a tree that had fallen on my front line. So that hickory uh, came out nice, but it was pretty green. It fell this year. Um, so I'm assuming that I'm going to get some splits. This was made out of the same stuff. So I would guess it's going to split some, which is why it's going to be, this is uh, 17 gauge electric fence wire. I put a couple of horseshoe nails in on the bottom to kind of hold it. But I was kind of surprised at how handy it was. So this is my input for the Scout Crafter wooden hammer challenge. Not a contest, just a challenge. And yes, as a matter of fact, I can make a wooden hammer. And now I have my lathe set up, so I can do some other stuff like that as well. So, without further ado, Scout Crafter, thank you. Hammers up to Scout Crafter. And when in doubt, put a motor on it. T-Rex out. <laughs>